Okay, check this out. We have a number of helixes here. And what is the plan today? Today, the plan is to not get eaten by flies, but... This is the Easy Race Lap Timer, the Pocket Edition. We've been using this probably, what would you say, a couple of months now? Um, yeah, about two months. About two months. Probably the first month we didn't use it much because we are away, but um, this last month we've been using it heaps and it's been going really, really good, hasn't it? Really, really good. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll give you a bit of a demo. We've set up a track, uh, which will allow us to test this and show you some of the functionality of it. Um, one of the cool functions with this is you can actually retrieve the data. So if you're out of Bluetooth range, you can actually retrieve the data by going up to it. And this is the way Thomas and myself have been training with it. So essentially, I go over, grab my data, reset it, and the Thomas goes over and grabs his data, and then he resets it. And what I'll do is, at the end of this video, I'll actually put another, I think a snippet that we shared on Facebook, was it? Or Instagram, one of those two? Yeah. Which showed me using this in the sort of range we're getting Bluetooth. This is using an iPhone 6. We were getting around about 14 meters range with it. Yeah. So, uh, and the key thing I want to sort of emphasize here is if you do lose range with this, it's not a big deal at all because you won't lose your data. Yeah. So, uh, this is the way we tend to use it. We're going to get this track going and uh, we'll set this up and make things happen. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to set this up? Yeah, let's so do this. We're actually based over there, so we're going to be well over the 10 meter range from this thing. Yeah. But the gate's not too far away. So, set it up. Here we go. So, what we do is get the lap timer, we put it in line with the gate. So, I'll put it facing this way. We're going to get our charger or battery, or whatever, we're just using a little solar panel thing and our micro USB. So, USB plugs into the USB, and then from there, USB plugs into the USB. Pretty simple. If I can plug it in the right way, this is pretty technical. It is really technical. There we go. And then we well, need to get this guy calibrated. So, we put the quad on the other side of the gate. So the calibration is done sort of on the other side of the gate. I'd probably go another, what, couple more feet away from the gate just to make sure we're definitely going to register um, as far as the uh, signal goes. But we're going to set that up and go out and do some lap times and see exactly how it goes. Okay, so what we're going to do now is demo a flight. Thomas is going to do a few laps. He's recording this with the GoPro. Yeah. Is your DVR running too? Um... Running DVR too. We'll probably just use the GoPro. It's going to be more accurate anyway. We've got 60 FPS, and uh, what we have is the Mavic up in the air. That should be getting some aerial shots of us, so we can see exactly what it is that we're doing and how the track's laid out, where we are in relation to the gate. And then what we'll do is, after he finishes doing his laps, we'll go and retrieve the uh, data. So hopefully he doesn't hit the uh, Mavic. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's not hit the Mavic. <laughs> okay, are we clear? Yes, we are. And I am going to get your launch. And I'm going to turn on my radio. Don't go backwards. So Thomas is about to launch. He's only done a couple of... How many laps have you done this? Or how many packs? Probably two packs. So it won't be a very clean run, but it'll give you an idea anyway. I know you're not used to the track, so you don't have to go ballistic with this. we just got to uh, learn the track. So that should be lap one. And we'll have a look at the data that we get from this. But yeah, look, the real beauty of this is um, within about 14 meters, I can still get data straight off it live. But at distances, some tracks, as you can, some tracks you can't get close enough. So uh, the easy lap timer still works, which is really cool. It's been pretty robust, hasn't it? Uh, it looks like you're concentrating. Yeah. A lot of ghost branches in this track. Yeah, so it's really hard to see, isn't it? Yeah. Irony was, I set up this track and I couldn't tell which way to go. I got lost. You got lost too, didn't you, the first lap? Yeah. Oh, I just had a rolling shutter. Whoa. You're good? <laughs> you're right. That was great. You're still going anyway, which is the main thing. Yeah, the uh, Dominator HDV3 do a strange thing, don't they? They do. It does this rolling shutter or rolling flicker in the video, but it doesn't come out on DVR. No idea what it is. Get on my lap.
Mavic? Don't go into the Mavic, please. <laughs> He's already nearly taken it at once. No, I haven't. It was a controlled pass. It was, it was con not even remotely controlled. It was 100% controlled. It was as controlled as the landing I did in the tree. That's because you're okay. not able to. I'll get Thomas's uh -huh. phone. So I've got Thomas's phone. Oh, well, I found out why I got video issues that time. Why? My antenna just fell off. Oh, did you? Did it? <laughs> That's great. Okay, let's go and get this data off the uh, off Good the time. easy laptop. Up, so I don't forget. There we go. Okay, let's go out. You can grab your quad, bring it with us. Actually, switch it off so oh, it doesn't. Did. No, power, power it down before it registers another lap. Good idea. So as you can see, I'm probably about a good 10 meters away, so I don't have to go right up to it. There's no, not much point. But we start the app up. Hopefully this is visible on um, the uh, GoPro. Click that. And connected. so it's connected. Sorry, the audio is really low. Reload. And there you go. We've just retrieved all of his data. So I obviously didn't reset the previous one. So we get, ignore these laps. Um, these are the laps that Thomas has got. He's got a 14.71 for his last one, 15, 17, a 15.26, and so on. So, so uh, we'll see exactly how that compares to uh, the footage we get from the GoPro. It should be pretty close, I would imagine. Um, there's going to be some frame differences, but we'll get it as close as we can. We'll try and do it up uh, in sync, um, in uh, in post, and see exactly how that goes. Yeah. So, and the other, what we do here now is, what once we've actually finished, I'll Thomas will reset, and then when I go up, I'm gonna get my times, and then I reset my time, so we can recover our own times. Yeah. So uh, and we just take screenshots. That's all it is. Now I believe they're doing further uh, updates to this app, so uh, hopefully they add more functionality. But that's basically a quick rundown on the easy. What's it called? Easy race lap timer. Easy race lap timer. Easy race lap timer. Oh, anyway. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so much stuff stuck in my radar. What I'll do is I'll uh, insert another section, which is the one with me uh, showing the range I'm getting out of it on an iPhone 6. Now, I'm not sure what an Android phone is going to be like or what the software is like on an Android, but I've got another video which I will link in the description of that I did a live. Was it a live stream? Yes, it was with the iPhone, I think it was. So, um, and that shows you a little bit of the functionality of um, Easy Race Lap Timer. Thanks very much for watching this, and we will catch you guys later. See ya. Hello Mavic, coming back home?